Let's learn about the C major cadences, three positions. Okay, first thing, if you look at the C major cadences, you're going to see a whole bunch of, of chords. And all the chords have a letter uh, right in between them, in between the right and the left hands. You're going to see Roman numerals. You see I, IV, I, V, V, V or V7, and then I again. Now, of course, in Roman numerals, I means one, IV means four, I means one again, V means five, and I is one again. So it's always that order, I, IV, I, V, or V7, and I, okay? So those Roman numerals refer to the different notes in a scale. So we're working in C major here, which is all the white keys on the piano, right? Starting with C. C, D, E, F, G, A, D. Then C again. So the different, the different numbers are, of course, 1 for the first note, 2 for the second, 3 for the third, and so on, right? So these chords that we're going to play are based on the different notes in the C major scale that the Roman number refers to. So the very first position starts us off with a triad chord based on one, which is C in the C major scale, right? We're gonna play C, E, G. A triad chord is simple, it's just two thirds stacked on top of each other. Now, the next one is going to play around with um, the triad chord a little bit. So if we did a triad chord based on the fourth note of the C scale, which would be F, we would play F, A, C, right? Well, this is gonna play with that a little bit. Instead of having the C on the top, they're gonna put the C on the bottom. So we have C, F, A, and we'll do it with both hands. Now you can play this <clears throat> with one, three, five in your right hand, and five, two, and one in your left hand. Then for the third chord, we go back to the C triad, like we did before, C, E, G. Now for the fourth chord, we're going to work off of note five, which is G in C major. Now if we did a triad chord on G, it would be G, B, D, right? Well, this is going to play with that a little bit. Instead of having the B and the D on the top, they're going to put it on the bottom. They're going to go B, D, G on top. We're going to do that with both hands. B, D, G. Now they recommend playing with that with a 1, 2, 5 in the right hand and a 5, 3, 1 in the left hand. Next comes the B7. Now the B7 is a little bit of a different case. It still plays with the notes that you would have in a G triad chord, G, B, D, right? But the seven means you're going to add another note that's a seventh higher than the original G, right? So a seventh high, a seventh above the G would be F. And so if we add that, we have G, B, D, F. Well then, to make it easier to play, they drop the D and just have the G, B, and F. But in this first position, instead of having that order, they're going to start with B on the bottom, B, and then F, and then G on the top. You've probably run into this chord before. We're going to do that with the left hand as well, using our 5, 2, 1 on the G, our F, B, F, D, and then 5, 1, 4, and 5 for the right hand. And then for the last chord, we're going to go back to the C triad. Now all together, C triad, C, E, G, then we do the C, F, A, back to C triad, then we do B, D, G, then we do B, F, G, 
Then we go back to C triad. Okay? That was the first position. The second position plays with the same three notes for each chord in a different way. So this first chord in the second position is still based on the notes you would play in a C triad. C, E, and G. But this time they're going to put the C on top. So we're going to play E, G, C with both hands using 1, 2, and 5 in the right hand and 1, oh sorry, 1, 3, and 5, 3, and 1 in the left hand. So E, G, C. Then next we're going to go ahead to the F triad. They're not going to play any games with this one. It's just a regular F triad. F. A, C. With both hands. Then we're going to go back to the E, G, C. Next we're going to go to the, we're going to use the three notes that are based on G, which would be G, B, D if we did a G triad. But they're going to change it up. <clears throat> they're going to put the D underneath instead of on top. So we'll play D, G, B with our 1, 3, and 5. And with our left hand, we'll do the same thing. D with our five, two finger on G, thumb on B. So D, G, B. The next is the B7, which we'll still use the B, F, G, but we're going to do it in a different order this time. This time we'll start with F, then G right next to it, and then B just a third above that. We can use one, two, and four in the right hand. In the left hand, we'll put our four finger on F, three finger on G, thumb on B. So all together, F, G, B. Then we go back to the first chord again, the E, G, C. So all together. do our F G B and then back to the E G C. That's the second position. Now the third position. Again we'll still use the same notes we would have when if we were using a C triad C E G. We're going to do it in another different order. We'll start with G then we'll go to C and have E on the top. And I like to play both of these with 1, 3, and 5 in both hands, but they also suggest you could do 5, 2, and 1 in the left hand. So you can do whichever you like. Then the next chord is going to be based on the F, which would be F, A, and C, right? But we're going to mix it up and put the F on the top. We'll start with A, then we'll play C, and then we'll have F on top. Um, again, I like to do 1, 2, and 5 with the right hand, and I like to do 5, 4, 1 with the left, but they suggest 4, 2, 1. So you can kind of do what you like. It's kind of nice to use 4, 2, 1 with the left, because then you're, it's easier to hop back to the next chord, which is going to be back to the G, C, E. Okay? Yeah. So if you did that. We're going to go to G triad. Not going to mess around any with that one this time. Just G B D. Notice they always do at least one plain triad just to make it easier. Then we're going to do the V7. We'll still use the B F G, but we're going to do it in a different order. We'll have G at the bottom, then B in the middle, and then F on the top. I like to use one, two, and five in the right hand. And I like to use 5, 4, 1 in the left, but they also suggest you could do 5, 3, 1. And then back to the first chord, which is G, C, E. So all together, G, C, E, A, C, F, G, C, E, G, triad, G, B, D, G, B, F, and G, C, E. And that's it, the three positions for C major cadences.